So suddenly Salt Lake is getting hockey next year. Now, a couple of the ideas that they were floating around for franchise name. You mentioned Yeti? Yeah, they they threw it out there like on a poll, and uh, you know a bunch of ones were coming in, and Yeti won some informal poll, and then the the company that the Smiths own, um, you know, they registered. You know, you can look up trademarks, and the Utah Yeti was a website that was bought, but that's not that's like the same thing with like the the Washington Commanders. They bought like twelve websites, so if there's a name that they even think remotely could be it, they're going to buy the the website domain. Well, one was Golden Eagles. Apparently, they were a pro team that played there from 69 to 94. Yeah. That's kind of stupid, though. Yes. In my opinion. Yeah. The Golden Eagles, there's the, the Salt Lake Grizzlies play in the, uh, the ECHL that have mm. been there for a while, and some people think that they would try to buy it from them. They've and... got a double or triple A team, the Salt Lake Bees. Yeah. Well, the it's the Beehive State, and so a lot of people think that the Buzz or the Stingers. Or the Swarm. The Swarm. Or something the Hive. Like, yeah, something like that. That's stupid too. Well, the this like the BYU logo is a beehive, and I think it's like on the state seal as well. They love the bees. The blizzard, I read. That's so stupid. The Utah blizzard. Yeah, because everybody's white there. <laughs> is that why? Hey, there's some Polynesians down there. I hope it doesn't end up with something like blizzard with seven Z's in it. You know, and well, you have to think old Mr. Smith is not. Uh, well, they'll just shorten it to the Blizz. The Blizz. The Blizz. Uh. He's no Dan Snyder. You know, he'll, <laughs> he'll do it right. I hope so. Hopefully. Yeah. But well, I do appreciate the fact that he said, I would rather be the Utah Hockey Club for a year yeah. and get this right than have to rush something stupid like see the commanders run it out there. No, you got one chance to get this right. And, uh, you know, I, I think I'll take it seriously. In fact, the last. Handful of teams, I think, in hockey and, and just in general, I think in sports, I think people are wising up that you get a good brand going with good merch and it's done right. Like the Kraken hit it out of the park. It's a good look. It's a good color scheme. It's a cool, unique mascot, unique to the area. The logo's good. The, the alternate logo's good. And people love it, man. They've just, they've, they've know, snapped that thing up. I got to tell you, I didn't like that at first. But now I do. Yeah, they've done a really nice job. I didn't actually love the idea of the Kraken being the mascot, but everything they did with branding, I think, looks awesome. Yeah. Well, Ryan Smith, the owner, and his wifey, that could have been Paul Allen. Yes. Because Ryan, so the the lesson here, yet another lesson in this, as we uh, talk about MLB to Portland, and at one time NHL to Portland, but... Um, you have to really butter these leagues up. Like, you have to have good relationships with the powers that be. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like Ryan Smith got really close with Gary Bettman. Yep. In the, in the, in the years leading up to this, he, he knew it would be a long road to try to convince him. And he started years ago and it's, it worked. Yep. And Paul Allen, you know, Portland could have had the Coyotes, but Paul Allen wasn't like Ryan Smith. He didn't, but uh, you know, butter up Gary Bettman didn't really care for hockey, and that's why they never came here. Yeah, years ago, the the NHL actually bought the Phoenix Coyotes. <laughs> At the time, it was Phoenix. I don't know if you like. This is how bad that franchise is. The NHL had to take it over, and like they ran operations. It was owned by the league. I mean, it's it's that, that like the Pelicans weren't they? Yeah, I think the Pelicans may have had to do that too, where they were like, look, they they couldn't pay their bills, and so the NHL took it over and. You know, it's it's read into the history if you want to see just what a, a truly bad franchise is. But yes, during that time and the time before that, because there's been multiple times where that team was available for somebody, Paul Allen. Um, and by the way, I guess Paul Allen was damn near uh, convinced to do it. And I, I remember the great Ian Furness telling me that because he's connected in the hockey world, that they were telling people in the Phoenix organization to start looking at places in Portland, that that deal was closer than people realized. But Paul was never a hockey guy and he wasn't really interested in buying the team and he didn't want to have another because uh, if you get a hockey team and this will be a problem in Salt Lake. Uh, you have to make modifications to your to your arena to make sure it can accommodate both, and then you have to do the scheduling thing because they play at the same time. Yeah. So and and Paul didn't want to. It can be done. It can be done. Yeah, I think like nine teams do it, but Paul didn't want to screw around. He thought that it was intrusive with the Blazers, and in other words, somebody from the Blazers convinced him that, that it wasn't good for the Blazers. Yes, but it would been would have been great for him. <coughs> Bert Cole. Oh, Bert didn't like it. Not none none of those people were hockey people. So, well, he's not really a basketball guy either. Well, 
He's got his ear. Bert. Well, but Paul is Paul doesn't need convincing or didn't need convincing on basketball. He He didn't really want it. So it's just there's a lesson there. Like you gotta actively want it. Yeah. You know? Well, think about Salt Lake is going to go in theory from the jazz forever, right? They've had the jazz for long ass time. And in the span of maybe five years, they will have gone from a one uh, sport team to they're getting hockey for certain. And let's be honest, does anyone think that they're not going to get baseball? I feel like they will. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna they're gonna like pull they a no they're brainer. Gonna, they're gonna pull a Vegas. You know what's gonna happen? I firmly believe this in my heart. Well, I don't really have a heart, but if I did, I would believe it in it. I think the White Sox are gonna move. Yeah, eventually. I hope so. Come yeah. to Portland. Well. Uh... Hey, you think we're a mess? Have you seen like where the White Sox play? Have you seen yeah. that area of Chicago? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, get on over they, here. They need a new. I, I just feel like, you know, you get the whole Reinsdorf thing. I, I just feel, and you already got another team there. Yeah. I feel like down the road the White Sox are going to move. The only problem is hockey teams move, baseball teams, not don't often. As much. No, definitely not often. But um, again, it's just a, a you know. But then you got Nashville sitting out there. Yeah. So I just you. Point being, the whole point is, you really got to be proactive and go get it. You have to go get it. And that's what this MLB to Portland group is trying to do. They're trying to go get the damn thing. The problem that I have with it is... But you have to have synergy with your local government. You have to have synergy with... It just... It just And that's what Salt Lake has. And that's why Portland continues to fall behind. And that's why, if we're being fair here, as as, you know, we've been advocates the whole time, that's why it's just not going to happen in Portland. It's yeah. not. And that's why people on our text line and people that you're out and about talking to are like, dude, you guys are crazy if you think that's going to happen here. And I get why they say that. But you can't – you got to try, right? Yeah. You you have to do everything you can, and you never know. Maybe the timing, it, everything falls into place, or you get a, a new a, a new mayor or new elected officials that, that get on your side and something – you know, it's not out of the realm of possibility, but – Based on just the idea that you have to really want it, you have to really go get it, and you have to have support civically, financially, in the in in the uh, government. There's no way Portland's getting anything. No, you know what? You know what's a little maddening too is Smith Ryan Smith and and his wife. I think they bought the Jazz in in like maybe 2019, 2020. So not that long ago. If he's the and he's from Eugene, by the way. FYI, Eugene native, if he would have bought the Blazers, just, you know, the Blazers sell when Paul dies. When did Paul die? Is it around that time? Right around there, right? 2019, 2020? Stand by. He looking, passed looking. in 2018. Okay, so oh. right, right around that timeline. If the Smiths buy the Blazers, we have hockey. You really, like, that? Like, seriously. Is he would have been the owner here, and he would have been cozy enough to the NHL, and we would have the NHL right now. Would he if, want? If we had a different. Owner. He's a BYU guy, though. I'm just saying. Had would he, he want to move the? You know, like the, now yeah. you got this whole thing of yeah. if he got an NBA team, would he want to take it like Clay Bennett, take it over to his <laughs> yeah. uh, brethren in Salt Lake, and we'd be the Salt Lake Blazers? We wouldn't have anything. <laughs> Sounds well. And the beauty part about hockey, again, my last thing about how hockey can be so chaotic. If I have this correctly. You'll love this. The Winnipeg Jets became the Phoenix Coyotes. The Phoenix Coyotes then got sold to the NHL, and a group from Winnipeg bought them and wanted to move them to Winnipeg, but then the NHL said no. They actually bought the team from Atlanta, which the original team from Atlanta is, yes, the original team from Atlanta is now in uh, Calgary, so the Winnipeg team bought the team from, instead of buying the team from Arizona, bought the team in Atlanta, moved them to Winnipeg, then bought the naming rights, the Winnipeg Jets, from the Phoenix team, which, remember, was originally the Winnipeg Jets. And so now the Winnipeg Jets are in Winnipeg again, but as a different team, but with the same name. You lost me. <laughs> that is what, like, that's how That Kate, can't be right. That is right. Those scientists better check their hypotenuses, dude. Yes. There was an original team in Atlanta. It moved to Calgary. The original team in Winnipeg moved to Phoenix. The people from Winnipeg wanted to move Phoenix to Winnipeg, but the NSA said, no, move the team from Atlanta that they got a new one there after their original team moved to Calgary. They bought the name Winnipeg from Phoenix, moved the team from Atlanta back up to Winnipeg. 
I'll take your word for it. <laughs> and they should call him the Utah Soakers. So, this is his chance. My point is anything I think is there possible. There might be soaking going on. So why not? Why not the Utah Soakers? 